Welcome back, Leo. This is your general love reading for March. Please remember that <clears throat> this will not resonate with everyone. So whatever does resonate with your situation, just take that and leave the rest behind, okay? Also, energy is fluid. So this can go vice versa as well. Um, don't be stuck to one side if you resonate with another side, okay? All right, Leo, we made it to March. Let's get in. I got one more notification. So, Leo, <clears throat> when I was uh, premeditating, somebody wants to be successful in something. Um, so let's just talk for a second. I don't want to keep it long because I want to keep it flowing. Um, I feel like somebody is very nervous, out of breath, um, has a lot of anxiety. They feel like they have a lot on the line, okay? There's something that is um, really important to them that is on the line, okay? And it's like now or never type of deal. Um, I kept hearing in my head, and it wouldn't stop, um, but I kept hearing over and over, um, that one's mine, that one's mine, you know? And then as I was doing the pre-shuffle uh, for the reading, then all, all I kept hearing was, you know, how did I let this happen? You know, I can't believe I did this. How did I let this happen? It was so strong that um, it even took me aback a bit, okay? <sighs> Somebody is just very nervous. They feel like they have a lot on the line, a lot to lose for some reason. Could be you or the other person, okay? But let's just get into it. All right. So for the month of March, you guys have inner voice here, okay? So this is telling me that you guys really um, are getting downloads, okay? Uh, it's time to listen to your intuition. Time to listen to the knowing that you already know, if that makes sense, okay? I know it's kind of cheesy and simple, but um, it's you guys are already being told. You know deep down inside what the truth of the situation is. You know the connection from the other's point of view, if that if that makes sense too, okay? So, because I, what I'm seeing in my mind's eye is somebody pointing over to another person and literally saying, I got you. There's downloads, you feel the energy of the other person, you know what they're thinking, you know how they're feeling, you know how important this connection is to both of you, um, but somebody's made a lot of mistakes and there's a lot of regret here. Somebody's feeling very anxious at the fact that um, they have a lot to lose because they feel like this is now or never. So that tells me something has occurred here or is about to occur um, to make the situation um, progress faster. Okay. <clears throat> so we have action, um, adjacent possibilities, and walking away. Okay. Now, this is the same thing, right? So what I'm getting from this this is the struggle of a situation. So in the current situation, somebody knows that the other one is ready to walk away and somebody needs to take action uh, towards this person. Otherwise, they might lose this opportunity. Okay. There's also another message here stating, especially with this girl. See, it's about listening to your inner voice. I don't know if you could see her face or not, but it's like... The way that she's looking, it's tell she you can tell that she's thinking, you know, I'll be back. So it's like telling the other person, and you you guys might speak telepathic telepathically and not even know it. Okay, you guys might energetically exchange messages, and you might know it for some. But I'm feeling like there's one side of the party here that's not really connecting to um, their inner voice. Okay, they're realizing that. Um, something's off, something's weird. Um, they want to fix things, but they're wanting to fix it in a 3D too. And they need to start aligning the mind, body, soul to get the full message here. Okay. We also have fear romance angel cards. Now I use two decks for some of you that are going to be like, wait, that's weird, right? There's two reconciliation cards. But the thing is I have, you always use two decks most of the time because, um, then I can clarify and find out. But these two came out together. This is double reconciliation. So this tells me if this person has not returned, 
they will return for sure to get double reconciliation. But if this person has returned already, I'm sorry, my heart's like beating so fast. Um, if this person has returned already, it's, it's letting me know that this is time, right? Uh, this person knows that they have to work really hard, um, to get you on the same page with them. But there's a lot of nervousness. There's a lot of, um, fear here. Okay. With the action card, if this person has not returned yet, just know with it having come out twice, I always find when the cards come out twice, it means that it is imminent. It is, the time is now. Um, whatever the issue is, the double card issue, it means that it needs to be done now, now, now. Okay, so some of you, I think, might, that haven't re had them return, will return shortly here, okay? You also have romantic feelings and let go of control issues here. So definitely, again, restating the fact that um, somebody needs to, they know that the feelings are there, even though the actions of the other person are not meeting the feelings of how they truly feel. They know that they cannot control this situation, but they need to let it go and listen to their inner voice and understand how to proceed by spirit, by the universe, okay? They know that those feelings are real and worth exploring, but they need to listen to their inner voice, okay? So overall energy, we have the nine of wands. That's, yeah, very fitting. So the overall energy for you guys, um, yeah, you've been through a lot, right? You've been a lot, through a lot with this person, with the situation in regards to, um, I just heard back and forth, back and forth. So we might still be dealing with somebody that has been, it's been a struggle, right? It's been, they've been in and out of your life, or if they haven't, it's been just a huge struggle to get on the same page with this person and get them to understand your feelings, right? But this Nine of Wands is very particular here because as he's staring at the wand here, you know, he's seeing the potential, the growth, and how it's come this far. So it's almost like he's saying, you know, should I let this go? Should I move on from this person? Or should I let this keep growing and see where this is going to take me? Okay, so I feel like you guys are in that energy of, you know, especially the ones that they've returned already and you've seeked communication or you've gotten communication from them and they sought you out. Um, it's kind of like you don't know if you should give it a shot or not, right? It's been like too long and wow, cards. All right, so let's see what the current situation is, okay? Let's get into it. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. The lovely Leos. So passionate. So loving. All right. So we have here. All right. Ace of Cups, definitely, right? So somebody's returning. Now keep in mind, the ones uh, for the... For the ones that the person has not returned yet, um, if this resonates with you, the energy is moving fast. So, you know, it's, it, it is coming. We have the Ace of Cups and the Page of Pentacles together. So definitely a love offer, right? Something, a beginning of something. But with the Page of Pentacles, it's like somebody's learning how to love. How to take, take a relationship, take a situation and nourish it okay with the page the page of pentacles always learning we also have the page of cups right an apology possibly we're gonna find out another love offer then we have the nine to the ten of cups that's the current situation so leo i must ask you this because i'm hearing both sides so the nine to the 10, right? This is a situation. This is like when you get that, when you get that message, when you get that, I'm so nervous. <clears throat> when you find out from this person or any information or a message or they return, talk to you, 
it's almost like when they do talk to you, it's something that you've wanted to hear for a long time. But it's with the nine to the ten, especially the way the girl, because I was staring at the girl's face. It's almost she, like she's looking over the ten of cups like, you know, is this for real? Is this too good to be true? You know, how, I didn't think they'd ever come around like this. I didn't think they'd ever express anything to me like this before. But she really is looking over at the Ten of Cups going, you know, I don't know. This is exactly what I've dreamed of. This is exactly what I've wanted for so long. But why does it not feel right? Why does, why do I not, I just heard to somebody, somebody, this is something that you've always wanted whether it be how they're doing something or something they're saying, but actually you're, you're kind of sad because you feel like you thought you'd be happier uh, when they did this. It's kind of like they've stripped the joy out of the whole situation and the relationship that this is something that would have made your whole life uh, before, you know, something like this being said or done, but it's like because there was so much turmoil and there's so much stuff that went on. I mean, to get to the Nine of Wands, you've been through a lot, right? You've been through a lot of battles and you're still sticking in there because you're going to win that war, right? But now it's like you've been through so much that it doesn't even seem so happy. Like you're just like, if that makes sense. It's kind of a disappointment, like... And then there's almost, uh, I heard for some, some of you, there's a little bit of bitterness, okay? There's a little bit of bitterness like, yeah, well, this would have made me happy a long time ago. And now I can't even be happy when I do receive it because I can't trust you. Because I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if you're, I just heard love bombing. So some of you might have been in a situation where this person might have been do, been love bombing you for a while okay maybe they leave for a couple months come back and then they'd say something really amazing and really sweet and make you feel like things were going to proceed and they actually chose you and then they're just gone okay tell me about the page of cups Woo. all right Ace of Wands, okay? We have the Page of Cups to Ace of Wands, so definitely a new beginning here. Somebody is offering you a new beginning, okay? They're passionate. They have a lot of... I just heard sparks of energy. So this person may... I mean, I do feel a lot of fast momentum here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What is this? What do we have? Death in Reverse and Knight of Cups in Reverse. So... This person in the past, especially, again, uh, Knight of Cups in Reverse, a lot of times is my, yeah, love bombing card, okay? Somebody that cannot um, love bombing or ghosting, I do find, um, even without the Five of Pentacles, this is a person that cannot, is not mature enough emotionally to proceed in a relationship um, where they meet the other person's needs. Okay, Death in Reverse is they don't want this to end, right? But this Ace of Wands with the Page of Cups is this is almost like an apology, but in an indirect way of letting you know that they want this to change. Let's see what your person is doing right now in regards to you. Let's get more insight. Find out. See, there's a lot of um, intense emotions here and feelings. All right, so, wow, I, okay, all right, so I was just hearing a little bit here. So we have the King of Cups, Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles in reverse. So what your person is doing is, now this to me, okay, this is two different things, right? I'll try to be quick with it, um, but there's two things here. This person is in the current moment is running away from showing you though know, they're kind of hiding um how they how they want to work this thing out with you kind of keeping you in limbo it's like they don't want to show all their cards yet because they do really have true feelings here with the king of cups for the others of you there are some here that are kind of going uh i just heard rogue Ugh. 
I don't know if some are going rogue. I think I heard that before in another Leo. Um, because they want, they're trying to figure out how they can work with you. Okay. They're trying to figure out how, how to make you see that in the reality of things that they really want this, that they're going to be serious because they, it's like the feeling of they let you down so much before that they're not sure that you'll ever give, be given a chance. And I like what I'm feeling is some of you, this person has like watched you and they've seen that you're kind of moving on. See, we have adjacent possibilities here with the action and the girls walking away. It's like they know that you are, you, you're wonderful, right? You have all of these options. You, you know, you can go to any of them. You can do whatever you want. So why would you ever give this person a chance, right? This person is starting to see that they can't keep you on the loop anymore. It's like that love bombing that was happening or some kind of, and if it's not love bombing, it's like the action, right? The action that they were taking towards you. Um, if you were in a, not a steady relationship, but like a situation ship, or it could be some, I just heard some, so some steady relationships, but not really steady, right? It's kind of like maybe you're a boyfriend, girlfriend, but there was stuff that they did that just didn't add up, right? It didn't, their actions didn't mean what they were saying here. And it, and you, I just, oh, so some of you too, I, I hate to keep stopping it, but some of you too, you were in a like relationship situation with this person where you thought the person was kind of committed, but the sad thing was, is what I heard was, you didn't, you know, they fooled you in thinking that they really loved you or cared about you. But the truth is, they just were hiding what they truly wanted and they were doing a disservice to themselves. But this like really upset you. You couldn't, you couldn't understand why they betrayed you like this. Why you, they would hurt you. Why, why would I, why would you do this to me? Out of all the people you can play with, why would you play with me like this? Let's see what you're doing. I want to see what you're doing right now. Let's get some more. Oh, that's weird. These are the two cards that popped out in the beginning of the reading. I should have showed them to you. Yeah, getting stable, taking control of your life, right? Emperor, Nine of Pentacles. We have Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups. You are done. You're very confused, right? You're kind of looking at the cups there, that little girl sitting down going, you know, I don't really understand. I don't do not get this. Somebody does not get this. They're very confused at why this person would act the way they do. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. I just heard somebody doesn't understand why this person is their soulmate that you deserve so some I, I do sense bitterness I do sense some bitterness here okay the ten of swords with the eight of wands so yeah you felt almost stabbed in the back here eight of wands I feel like it came out of nowhere too it's almost like what happens here with the eight of wands and the ten of wands it's almost like you weren't you didn't see it coming um kind of came out of nowhere and uh, it happened fast, out of the blue. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Oop. I hope I can get it. Sorry. I'm just going to leave it because <laughs> I can't get over there and I don't want the camera to drop. Okay. So we got the Queen of Wands with the Page of Swords. Okay. So this person has been watching you all along, even though it seemed like maybe they were over you. They were never over you. I see a lot of spying. I even see like rogue agent kind of stuff, you know. I just heard some of you block this person. So, but this person had means of getting around, okay. Let's find out about the spying. Chariots. Moon in reverse, yeah. Five of Pentacles. With the chariots. This is, so what they, what they did all along, uh, Leo, they found means and ways to get around either the blocking for those of you that blocked this person or thought, oh, they can't watch my social media. They can't watch anything about me 
or even maybe your your address or putting your car in your garage I just heard instead of keeping it outside knowing if they're your home or not um, this person had other means to keep an eye on you whether it be other people but this shows me with the moon reverse five of Pentacles this is a situation where just take social media for instance they made like a fake profile um, and you know they they checked your page out or they went through somebody else like it doesn't have to be but it's something like that okay let's see what they're doing what action they're gonna take right now i'm sorry in the month of march let's see we have five of cups devil and the empress here all right this person in the month of March, I just heard rejection. I don't know if you guys are going to reject them or not. I do feel like you guys might be walking away from the situation or be let or letting them know that in a non-direct way, everything's like non-direct uh, way that you really don't care. You really don't want anything to do with them because you get the same result every time they do this, th this thing, even though they change the way they do it they love bomb or they say things to you or do things for you it's the same outcome so you're just like okay no big deal it's like somebody text messaging and then they're like you know oh i i had this dream about you or something like that and then all of a sudden um you know they're saying it's about you and them or something like that or you know how much they care about you and that you they think you should you guys should be together because they got downloads from somewhere or they went to go see this person and you're just like i don't care you know but this person feels rejected severely they want this new beginning here with the empress a very passionate new beginning they almost feel chained to the situation and cannot get out of their own feelings about it so that tells me that that's the action if this person has returned with reconciliation here that there is some uh, major issues with depression. Five of Cups, Devil, right? A prison of their own making. Feeling like the answer is with them and no one else. Some of this Five of Cups, Devil. Yeah then they would be in the nine of wands. So with them, it would be, oh, I, okay, yeah. Yeah, since this is your overall energy too. So I just heard the situation reverses, guys. I'm at 23 minutes, sorry, it's going so long. I'm, okay, so the situation is going gonna be reversed by mid-March, end of March. Now the chaser becomes the runner and the runner becomes the chaser. The energy is now switched. This is somebody that you wanted for a long time to come to a mutual agreement with you to build something together, to love each other. And it always felt like even though they may have come around back and forth, you were always, always the one that kind of like proceeded to chase them, right? Some of you are probably going to say, you know, oh, I didn't chase this person, but energetically, yeah, yeah, you did. Because um, now the energy is reversing because it's the laws of attraction, right? The more you chase after something, the farther it gets, right? But the minute you let go of the outcome and you just don't care anymore, which is where you're at right now, you're just letting it go. You don't care, even though you got what you wanted. You got this person to say something that you wanted or do something that you wanted, that you've wanted for a long time or makes your world. It's something nine to the ten of cups is not just something. It's your wish granted, right? It's something that would fulfill you so much emotionally. Um because you got that and now you because you've been through so much in the nine of wands you're just like i'm gonna let go of this because if they want this anymore i'm gonna have to make them work for it basically right so now they're in the nine of wands energy 
Wow, that's interesting. So the energies have switched. Okay. So let's just take a look at the outcome for the month of March. Where you guys will be at. Make sure to check on you guys. You're okay. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords, Hanged Man. Yeah. It's this position. The outcome is, you know, no one wants to get hurt, right? Even this person does not want to get hurt, even though they were, they played their own games, right? They treated you wrong. They did things that, you know, made you feel like you had to defend yourself, right? But nobody wants to get hurt in this situation. And the outcome is, you know, knowing that something does have to be released here. Okay. A sacrifice does have to be made in this situation. And it can't ever go back to the way it was. We do have the star and the seven of wands. So I feel like you're in the seven of wands energy. Or I mean, they're in the seven of wands, the nine of wands energy. I'm sorry. And you're in the three of swords hangman, knowing that you cannot let this proceed. Otherwise, it's just going to end up in heartbreak again with the three of swords. We do have the star card here, which tells me that there is a beacon of hope for the situation. We have the page of wands with the star. So, Leo, this is telling me for the outcome. There is potential here. If you do want this. You can have it. Is it going to be a lot of work? Yeah, it will be. But with the star card here, page of wands, and now the ace of pentacles. And for those of you that don't want it, trust me, you do what you guys want. You know your own situation, your own life. Okay, you have free will. I'm not telling you to take this person, so please... Don't jump on me in the comments, okay? But there is a beacon of hope here, okay? So it really is up to you what you want. There is potential. This, There is change, okay? There is an energy shift, an energy change, okay? That this person will now seek after you because they see not only your worth, which it's not like they didn't see it before, but it's like they could just go and do what they wanted. Knowing that she'll always want me, you know, so much. It's like the laws of attraction, right? They could feel that you yearned for them. That you, you know, you guys are passionate. You guys are amazing people. Um, and you have the ability to make the other person feel like they're the most important person in the world. That's why you guys are so special, you know? But I'm going to leave it there, okay? I'm going to say you guys decide, okay? There is potential. This is basically the universe saying you can have what you want. You did manifest this, right? Uh, you did want, want this at one time. So it's up to you. And it's like the universe is willing to work with you along the way to kind of you know, put fire under this person's butt and realize, you know, they need to make it happen. It's now or never, right? All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for all the love and support. And I'm going to say, stay, I'm going to say, sorry, I'm going to say, stay thirsty, okay? Reason I'm saying that, and I'm going to say that all the time. It's been helping me a lot just in my personal life. You know, I keep hearing stay thirsty and the reason is, and it's really cool because, you know, my channel's named Seven Cups of Spiritual Tea and I will do a and a video later on in a little while about some questions. I'll answer you guys' questions and about the channel and everything, but stay thirsty for the knowledge of truth, okay? Stay thirsty for our higher consciousness, consciousness, sorry, I can't even speak this person's like nervous and um but you know we should always strive to be better we should always strive um to learn more and to you know help our souls grow and and take on the information and that's what staying thirsty is okay 
All right, I love you guys. You guys have a great, um, I can't speak, I'm so sorry. I'm an Aquarius, <laughs> I'm like a little weird. Um, you guys, <laughs> sorry. Um, you guys have a good end of the month. I love you guys. Um, stay thirsty. All right. See you later. Bye.